will be next to go. Eric Rogers, Round Rock, Arizona. That's him in the black shirt. Fifth ranked in the world. Corey Petzka, sixth ranked in the world. They've been to that Super Bowl rodeo in Las Vegas. Between them, 11 times. Now, Petzka won it in 10. The 50. There you go. They're trying just a little harder. That six and one that we had gets moved now to second. They take the lead with a five and two. I call him on the corner, Corey Petzka, for a reason. All right, watch the next guy. In the blue plaid, that's Eric Rogers, fifth in the world standings. His partner, Corey Petzka, sixth in the world standings. Eric Rogers comes from Round Rock, Arizona. He is a champion in the Navajo Nation Indian Rodeo competition as well. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. There were two wows in that run. First of all, your header throws a Hail Mary. This steer is moving away from him, and he's got to throw every inch of his rope. Then watch Corey Petzka. How does he do that? 6-1. They won the round last night with a 5-2. Here's Eric Rogers and Corey Petzka, fifth and sixth in the world standings. I roped a chicken. You did? Did you eat him? After I roped him. Oh, my goodness. Violence. Everybody thinks that bull riding is the richest event in rodeo. This one here is the richest worldwide. Yeah, pretty guys. Is that Corey Petzka? Is that guy phenomenal or what? That's good enough for second or on the corner, Corey. Yeah, but it's good him. enough for first in the aggregate. Bob, they're going to get out of here with $14,000 in this Super Series. I told you it's the richest event. It is, and and although they're splitting that 14000 it's seven grand a man. A guy like Corey Petzka is not going to go very far when it comes to taking that heel shot. Eric Rogers, the three-time qualifier to the national finals. Corey Pesca won this rodeo, Rodeo Houston, in 2012. They are fourth and third, respectively, in the world standings. And as I alluded to, Eric is going to be the one that takes his time. Corey will not. Watch this seal shot again. Five and nine. They will tie for the time on top. But Eric is the guy on this run that takes one more swing. And he ropes the steer. And when they show Corey, Corey comes around and does not let that steer get out of his eyesight. I have nicknamed him on the corner Corey for a reason. He does not wait. Eric Rogers around Rock, Arizona on the right. As Boyd would say, catch him on the corner, Corey Petzka. On the left side, the young man in the dark blue shirt represents the Navajo Nation. He can get on him fast, this Eric Rogers. And Corey Pesco wastes no time once the bend gets made. Look at that. Look at that. Five and three. We now have four qualified times, so we know the 13 and nine is the first bubble that has to be burst. Five and three. That Corey Pesca is just amazing, isn't he? He is. Hey, this guy's got a torn ACL. Eric Rogers is going to have surgery in a couple of weeks. He had a horse kicking the other day. He's roping with his knee tore up, and he's in serious pain. He'll have surgery in a week or two. Corey Pesca just wants him to to be solid one more time. And Eric's been plenty solid. Wow. Did he reach? Look at there. 4-7 is now history. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching great team roping in Houston. 4.2. They are the new leaders. Look at that, he turned the corner just as Boyd always says, on the corner, Corey. Look at those boys grinning, they're happy campers.
And then there was... Boy, right. there's your I, champions. First, I want to start with Eric Rogers. Tell me what's the matter with your leg and what you're going to do about it. Man, I got here for right for the semifinals. One unloaded a horse, and he kind of kicked me and got me on my knee. I uh, had an MRI done here and uh, found out the night, last night, I had a torn ACL and MCL. So I've been, they've been taking care of me in there really good, got me taped up, and hopefully when I get home to Arizona, I'll get, get the surgery done. How does that affect your roping? Because when you got to throw long and hard, you got to get up on your feet to throw. Does it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. It's been hurting, but, you know, the, the staff here has been taking care of me really good and got me taped up. So it ain't moving a whole lot to where my knee moves out or moves in. So I kind of sat down a little bit more. And when I when adrenaline comes, it's it took over. All right, buddy, the adrenaline does flow. Okay, second time for you to win this rodeo. And we're going to take you to the run here in a second. But, Corey Pesco, what's it like to win Houston? Right now, my hands are shaking. It's the, one of the best feelings in the whole world. And uh, I, this crowd is amazing. And this crowd cheered good while ago. I want to hear them cheer for, this, for our, this committee. This committee is the best committee that we deal with all year. And we love them. And I want this crowd to get as loud as you can right now for the committee. Will you stand up and give them a round, round of applause, please? Thank you. Now, let's go to your run. Let's go to your run. Talk me about your run. Man, my partner here, he's amazing. He, he knows what I need to catch, and he scores good and does a heck of a job and sets it up to where all I got to do is catch. Well, together, you two can figure out how to spend $100,000. Way to go, guys. Congratulations.